if you're in a position where you have an unruly cache of imagery and you don't know what to do with it, and probably you're not even in Lightroom yet, you just know that you've got piles upon piles of hard drives of images and they're all over the place and you don't know what they are, you don't know where they are, you don't know anything about them. This is where Lightroom really shines. So what I would do is I would get a USB hub, which I have pasted under this desk so that I can have this attached and this attached and that and whatever. Get a USB hub and plug it into your computer and grab all your disks and plug them in all at the same time. All of them. Every disk that you think has photos somewhere. Even if it, you think it has a lot of Word, hard, you know, Word documents and, and all sorts of other stuff at the same time, but you know it has photos. Plug it in. Then what you do is instead of importing one folder, import the whole drive into Lightroom and go to bed. And then the next day, import another drive into Lightroom and go to bed. And just until you have everything imported into Lightroom. Don't build the one-for-one -one previews because you don't need them at this point. Right now you're organizing. Right now you're just trying to ingest everything and put it where it belongs. So you're just pulling it in. If you do that, you will have, and, you, and you'll notice that when I'm looking here, I've got several photos too. I mean several disks. There's the Macintosh hard drive, which is the drive that's on this computer. And then you've got the photos disk. Those are the two things that are in my collection. If you start importing, say, five different drives that you know you have photos on, all five of those drives will show up here. But you can still click on all photographs here, and you will be looking at the everything across all of those hard drives. So then you can simply go into those and say, all right, now I'm going to put a clean drive in there, brand new, clean open drive, three terabyte drive, two, whatever, how much, how, whatever you can afford, whatever you want to put. Get the fanciest little drive you want. And that's going to be the final resting place for all your photos. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go through all those photos and you're just going to, the first thing that I would do is go to all photographs, come up to metadata, and I would just go to the date section, which is this first column, and click on 2006 and then highlight all the images in 2006, and then create a folder over here in your folders folder on that new hard drive. Create a folder, call it 2006, and grab all those photos that showed up on an automatic search for 2006 and drag them into it. And it will literally suck them off of those drives and put them onto this drive. And then go to 2007, do the same thing. 2008, do the same thing. 2009, do the same thing. Until you have one drive that has literally found, it, Lightroom has found all of the photographs, because Lightroom will only show you things that have photographs. It, it won't show you documents, and it won't show you PDFs. It just shows you images, JPEGs, raw images, TIFFs, PSDs, and PNGs. That's what it shows. It will have taken all those and moved them to that hard drive. Now they're all collected in, 2000, in, in year. Now you can go year by year, and I would suggest starting with the latest year, not the earliest. So start at 2014 and move backwards, because you'll probably use the, the ones up close, you know, you'll probably use the ones in 2014 more than you'll use the ones in 2008 or five or six. So start at the, the earliest one and start working on that. Clean it up. Scan through it, find anything that you think shouldn't be there, delete it, get rid of all the, the stuff that's superfluous, and then start, and as you're doing that, you're, you've got a, a job ahead of you, but you're just doing it one year at a time, and just scan through, flag them, star them, and then as soon as you're done, sort for the non-flags, get rid of them, delete them, put them in your I can't make decisions, rejects, drive, whatever you want to do with them, get rid of them and then 2014 will be manageable. Then go to 2013 and keep going back until you're done. Right? And in the process of doing that, once you've, but do the selection on the year first, then keyword. And once you've done the selection on the year, you can highlight a whole group and say, this is all, you know, Spain, and this is all Disneyland, and this is all, you know, school photos, and this is, just highlight them, and then start using your spray can to spray keywords. And, and 
If you're trying to do this in arrears, you're trying to do this from now back, and you're trying to fix a lifetime of inattention to photographs, um, don't be too persnickety about what you do. Just keyword them enough that you can find them in general and keyword your kids. Your kids' names, search for them. Find those kids and keyword those and be done with it. Um, then going forward, repent and do what you're supposed to do. Right? At that point, it's time to, you recognize the trouble that you caused yourself by not doing this, by not being organized. So start being organized. And every time you bring in that camera, sit down, get yourself a snack, turn on some good music, have you know, your kids come and watch them with you or whatever and play around and have fun and get it done. Select them and keyword them. And then you can forget about them until you're ready to scrapbook or make a book or do whatever you want to do with them. Make a slideshow. Um, but you've got to do it now. Because if you don't keyword now, you'll never keyword as evidenced by the pile of images that you have that have n you have no way of accessing.